Hi everyone. Sometimes it's quite nice just to have a play and do something from your imagination. So I've used my husband Paul's face and I've turned him into the green man. So I'm going to put brush out and metallic paints, Derwent metallic paints, iridescent paints um, onto this but I want to keep some of the shape so what I'm going to do is just with a little bit of this blue masking fluid just mask out some of the definite shapes now we know that won't be pure white but I do need to keep the shape when all the other bits go on and that will give us a good idea this oak leaf for a moustache always add bits of colour into that later but it's more difficult to take it out and then I'm going to depict some of these acorns and things because it's going to be so easy to lose these shapes It was quite a lot of work, it was quite a lot of drawing. I don't have to do it all around and everything. I think those little flowers can... That's the whole form flower. I don't want it to look too white either, but I do want to keep these shapes. It might be a case of we'll go in with metallic paint afterwards. I have drawn it quite dark, so hopefully we won't lose too much of that. whole form leaves, berries, flowers and oak leaves. Now I'm anticipating that I'm probably going to lose a lot of the colour but we might not but that doesn't matter. We've safeguarded ourselves. I think that's probably enough. We can work out the rest of the shapes from that if we have to. Right, let's leave that to dry. I think the next thing that I've got to do is to take out all this masking flow that we put on and see what we've got. So I'm using a mask away make sure that it's really dry before you do this and with my metallic paints i'm just going to get some of these shapes back in i think we'll start with his eyes i'm going to use a tiny little brush and go for that darker metallic colour. I'm trying to keep the colours to a minimum but I think this needs to and that 
it's not going to hurt really to have that. And we can darken that later anyway. Just want to, I think the eyes are probably a good place to start. I can add a little bit more green into that. green in the eye. some lips and I don't want to use too many colours so I am going to um, just stick with the green for the lips dark colour just along there to give it that darkness like we would with a normal painting. I've closed his lip up a little bit because I think the teeth could look a little bit scary with a green man. Back to the green. Let's bring that down. And now some of the nose shape. So that can be green. It's lovely shiny oak leaf. coming out quite nicely so I'm happy with that. I'm going to use a bigger brush and plenty of green at the moment. Just soften some of these lines. the red because that's very close to the rust colour that I used and I'm just going to put some of these berry shapes in because they might as well be metallic. This is the whole form. And as we do this hopefully we we'll start to see where we're going with it. Oh, 
I think that's is that all the berries possibly we can always add some more later if we need to um, we've got a little dark bit on the end is that going to be dark enough bearing in mind we don't want it to be too definite Always again dark enough if we need to later. Some lovely acorns which are green. So go back to the green. And there's an oak leaf here that can be painted in. I think I've got a bit of gold around some of these. I think it's quite good to soften these edges. Let's get a little bit more gold into that too. I'm going to bring that palette down so I'm not stretching across you all the time. I think we're just... Yeah, that's nice. Sort of gilding it almost, aren't we? Take your time. I'm going to do a little bit of the gold on the nose, I think, too. Softening that with gold. Love the little bits of brush show that are coming through. Every time you think you've finished, another little bit pops up that you 
hadn't noticed. Sort of soften that with little bits of gold too. It's all quite nice. So I'm going to put some gold over the lips as well. And the eyes. And I'm going to try, before I go in with Queen Kink, is to get some shapes with this green. I'm just dipping my bamboo pen into that because I don't want them to be too harsh. And this should keep it a little bit softer. Every single vein, but I think a few here and there will make it nice. I've got these lovely stems that we can bring through. lost a few but we can draw some back in in a while. Just doing the Hawthorne leaves to start with and then we know that we've got other leaves mixed in with them. And I'm quite liking this brush crystal mix. Sorry if I'm going a bit quiet. Sort of really concentrating here now. Let's get a look at the eyebrows in so we need to just look and dark bit of the eye. Lovely with this um, bamboo pen. That's him looking out of there. And we've got some dark bits here that I guess we need to put in. Let's get that oak leaf in. Alright, let's just get 
a little bit of shape here. Have all these um, stems and things coming down. Well, the same around here. I'm not uncertain that I'm not going to go in with um, ink anyway. Just put it back so that we can see those shapes. And I might go in with a bit of the um, brush show mixed up, but we will see. That's an oak leaf there. Let's pop that in. another oak leaf I've drawn in that. Some more of these berries, that's just... I think that's an acorn hiding away. If it isn't, it doesn't matter because we've just made it one. Beautiful leaves. I think those are my flowers that we'd put in. No, the flowers are there. These are more berries. shapes down here and some up here gosh they just keep appearing I think these are sticks and more berries and the lights all the way all into what twines it just I've still undecided whether to go in with any quink ink that's black maybe we'll add a few bits later but let's finish it all in green and then we'll make our decision oh, we've got another leaf here that's curling up isn't it if we haven't, we'll put one in. So glad I masked this out. I don't think we'd have ever found them otherwise. That can join up there. Oh, 
these leaves in there. It certainly makes you focus. sparkling now. Oh, I'm really pleased with this. I'll just add more of these rooty things coming out. is just coming out beautifully. Now I think we're going with the reds. So I'm not going to outline those too much with the green. To the knife. Get a nice swirl. Wasn't it is now. up some of the rust and do those berries quite a lot darker and then we're going to step back from it I'll just put the top on here so we don't want to knock that over and the terracotta what can I mix that onto I had a lid didn't I let's just mix it onto here I don't need very much a few bits and I might, I think, add some of that sparkly gold into that so it will sort of sparkle as well as being inky. Mm, that's gorgeous. so much better. But yeah, that's nice. Well, that is a stick. 
I suppose that should be darker brown, but I don't, I'm in a bit of a dilemma because I don't want to add other colours. So I think what I might do is I will just add a bit of the green that we used to start with onto my brush. So it's nice and shiny and nothing's too harsh. And with that, I'm going to mix that into my ink or my dyes and then we can get that shape back. Oh, I've got another one there. And then anything that I want to show up, I possibly could do that by um, darkening around the outside. But not too much. Just trying to get a bit of a balance going. Let's get darker acorns. And I can use that dark green, I think, to. I'm starting to get more and more reluctant. thinking that I probably don't want to go in with um, a dark ink but I'm not sure what I have to do is stand back and I don't want to lose too much of this really nice stuff Isn't it? Right, just standing away from that, I think the nose is a little bit too bright. So what I'm going to do is get some of the green. Just go over that. That's all. I'll just dull it down a little bit. Use a little bit of Queen Ink now, my bamboo pen, but not too much. And this is where we could overdo it. But I just want the eyes to be a little bit more definite. the other show and I might put a little bit of white highlight in. It doesn't matter, it's mixed media, we can do what we want. Just a touch of the eyebrow but it doesn't have to be too much. And I think we get a little bit of this leaf. 
more dominant but not every single bit so we're sort of doing it quite sketchy just a few bits here and there I'm sort of losing it and coming back to it now let's get the shape of the nose because that's quite important all of them. I keep losing those dark bits, don't I, on those? thinking that's good what we're doing and when you put that ink onto the gold it sort of loses it a little bit anyway so oh yeah that's that's coming out beautifully we're doing okay just I've closed the mouth that's um, bits but not every bit yeah I'm getting to be very happy with this it's such fun I think when you start to make stuff up Careful not to do every single thing that I can see. This is really coming on exactly how I wanted it to. Let's get some of this one in. I don't think I did. A little bit of this echo. 
well that black is just disappearing into the gold it just couldn't be working better Just sort of scanning, I'm concentrating so much, I keep going quiet. Probably say, Thank goodness for that. She's not talking. There we go. Oh, oak leaf there. I tidied up this little bit here with some white acrylic paint, and I put a little dot in the eye, and I've also put some highlight um, onto that lip. Now I think the danger is that you could keep adding highlights and we don't really need to so I'm going to leave it at that. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy painting your own green man.